since the game is coming up on its 10th anniversary, I thought it would be cool to go back and look at all the secrets inside of the FNAF series. So on with 2014 in August, the finest Freddy's model was released. If the player clicks on Freddy Fazbear's nose from the Celebrate poster from the left side of the office, it will emit a honk sound. Ever since the first game, it has been a tradition to include similar easter eggs in the series. There's a 1 in 1000 chance every second that the words it's me will flash on screen in tandem with rapidly alterating images of a black eyed version of Bonnie with his left pupil off centered in a similar way to the medical condition Strabus, I don't know how you say that, commonly known as Lazy Eye. And Freddy Fazbear with human eyes, sounds taken from Bonnie and Chica in the corners of Night 4 and onwards accompany these hallucinations. <laughs> These visions can happen anytime, even if the player is looking at the monitor or when the power runs out. They are also scripted a guaranteed appearance when Golden Freddy appears in the office. There's a 1 in 100 chance when the monitor is brought up that one will find Freddy Fazbear facing the show stage camera with black eyes and white pinprick pupils. This can only occur if he is alone in the room. There's a 1 in 100 chance when the monitor is brought up that the out of order sign will be replaced with graffiti reading it's me. This can only occur if Foxy has a left pirate's cove. There's a 1 in 100 chance when the monitor is brought up that the let's party poster in the west hall corner will change to an image of Freddy ripping off his own head. On even rarer occasions there is a 1 in 32,768 chance every second that the aforementioned poster will change to a close-up of Golden Freddy. Should this occur, a child's laugh will be heard and Golden Freddy will appear in the office once the monster is pulled down, preparing to jump scare the player and crash the game. This can only occur once per night. Both of these can occur if Bonnie is not occupying the room, though the easter eggs will pop into existence once he's left the camera. There's a 1 in 100 chance when the monitor is brought up that the posters in the East Hall may change to depict the crudely drawn faces of screaming and crying children in a similar style to that of Edward Munch's... <laughs> the, the... whatever bro, like I'll probably just mess up his whole name and I sound like an idiot. Similarly, there's an identical chance that the posters from the wall will be removed with scribbled graffiti, graffiti reading It's Me in their place. This cannot occur if Freddy or Chica is in the camera feed, though the easter eggs will pop into existence once they've left said camera. There is a 1 in 100 chance when the monster is brought up that the rules for safety poster in the east hall corner will change to one of four newspaper clippings telling the backstory of the missing children incident. The third and fourth variants will appear in tandem with the east hall graffiti and screaming children drawings respectively. These cannot occur if Freddy or Chica is in the camera feed, though the easter eggs will pop up into existence once they've left said camera. There's a 1 in 100 chance when the monster is brought up that Endo 1 and the rest of the animatronics heads from the backstage will stare into the camera. This will only occur if Bonnie is not occupying the room, though the easter eggs will pop into existence once they've left the camera. Similarly, there's an identical chance that Bonnie will stare into the backstage camera if he is occupying it. If proper requirements are met, they can appear in tandem with the Pirate Cove, It's Me graffiti and the show stage Freddy Stare Easter egg. 50 chance every 10 seconds for metal door pounding to be heard in the background, ranging in volume from 10 to 50. This can be heard at any points during the night, even while the monitor is up. Got Coffin has refused to elaborate on what the, sound, the source of the sound could be. There's a 1 in 30 chance every 5 seconds for a circus organ to play a short musical piece. There's a 1 in 30 chance every 4 seconds for Foxy to sing a short song in Pirate's Cove. This would only occur if Foxy is not advancing away from the curtain, so players should use this to their advantage. There's a 1 in 10,000 chance after the game over screen ends that Golden Freddy's jump scare will load instead of the title screen. <laughs> As of version 1.13, assessing all the animatronic AI level to 1987 in the custom night menu and pressing ready will load Golden Freddy's jump scare. This easter egg was added in by Scott Coffin to halt false rumours about entering the aforementioned code to obtain an alternate ending in reference to the bite of 87. There's a 1 in 1000 chance when the player re 
turns to the title screen in any way that a still image of Bonnie with empty eye sockets in a similar fashion to an image that can appear in the visual hallucinations will appear. After 9.5 seconds, two small white pupils will appear in Bonnie's eyes for a further 0.5 seconds before the player sends to the title screen proper. Surrounding the help wanted newspapers are hidden messages from Scott Cawthon giving taunting advice towards the player. It's on the screen right now, feel free to pause and read it, it's quite a lot of uh, <laughs> such stupidness. So just feel free to just pause and read it. On November 11th, 2014, Final Fantasy II was released. Identical to the first game, surrounding the help wanted and the robot scrapped newspapers are hidden messages from Scott Cawthon giving taunting advice towards the player. You can also pause and read it on screen right now. Just like the first game, if the player clicks on Toy Freddy's nose from the Celebrate poster from the left side of the office, it will emit a honk sound. <coughs> Every time the camera monitor is put down, a random image value used for several easter eggs is set to a random number out of a thousand. If this is equal to nine, a recolored feminine version of Balloon Boy named JJ will appear hiding under the office desk. The next time the monitor is brought down, she has no effect on gameplay and disappears when the monitor is brought up again. There is a 1 in 16,384 chance when the monitor is put down for a dark silhouette. Reminiscent of Toy Bonnie named blah 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 who appear in the office. Staring at it for at least 4 seconds closes the game. To avoid this the player must shine the flashlight. Regardless of whether the hallway animatronic causes the flashlight to be temporarily disabled, it will get rid of blah 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 blah. Drawing so will cause blah blah blah, blah to fade away. If an animatronic causes a blackout then blah 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 fuck just stop saying his name for an opportunity it's terminated. Oh fuck's sake. The Freddy Fazbear head as well as keeping the cameras up without flashing yep does not work on him either. Only on night 7 there's a 1 in 1 chance for one of the paper plate dolls that resides in party room 4 called paper buddy to activate at AI level 1. This results in a standard 1 in 20 chance to move every 5 seconds. Upon succeeding the movement opportunity they will leave party room 4 once the monitor is brought up and reappear on the far right wall. It has no effect on gameplay. They are camera stored when the camera for party room 4 is actively viewed. They additionally have a unique formula for getting stunned with the flashlight but since they can only activate on i7 it is always 50 frames. Every time the camera monitor is put down a random image value used for several easter eggs is set to run a number out of a thousand. If this is less than or equal to a hundred, then a purple version of Withered Golden Freddy with a large glowing pupils and a teeth named Shadow Freddy will appear sitting in parts and service. If none of the other Withered animatronics are there, he has no effect on gameplay. Every time the camera monitor is put down, a random image will use for several easter eggs is set to run a number out of a thousand. If this is a hundred or less and the puppet has left the prize corner, a spare Endo 2 appears in standing at the prize corner. If this sub is 3, then an Endo 2 will appear in a left air vents. There's a 1 of 50 chance for one of four transparent images of the puppet to appear in place of the camera static for every short intervals once it has escaped the prize corner. This can only be seen if the player quickly turns on and off the flashlight and happens to be watching a camera that the puppet is occupying. Curiously, the fourth image is a lot less common. There's a 1 in 1000 chance each for the player to experience an image of one of three eyeless animatronics, much like the eyeless bonnie screen from the first game. While the images are being displayed, the sound that plays is the sound that the flashlight makes when it is temporarily disabled by a hallway animatronic, repeating itself until it's over. Weird Freddy rarely appears after the warning screen. Toy Bonnie rarely appears after the game over screen. Weird Foxy rarely appears when the player starts a night. There's a 1 in 10 chance after the player is jump scared that they will get to experience a minigame. These reveal bits and pieces of the game's backstory. These minigames include Save Them, Take Cake to the Children, Give Gifts, Give Life, Foxy Go Go Go. The game code was originally set to only play these mini games if the player was killed by the puppet. There's a 1 in 100 chance whenever the player exits to the right doorway of any room in the Save Them Death minigame for William Afton to appear, rapidly advancing towards with Freddy. Upon successfully catching the player, a screen consisting of blue bars with scan lines appears, followed by a single message in the bottom left corner simply reading, You can't. This results in the minigame closing itself a second later. <laughs> I just recently hit 1000 subscribers and to celebrate that I'm uploading every single day for the next week. So make sure to subscribe and check out my channel every single day around 5pm UK time, which is when I'll be uploading every day for the next 7 days. And if you're not already subscribed, then subscribe. Thank you. On March 2nd, 2015, Final Fantasy Freddy's 3 was released. Just like the first two games, if the player clicks on Freddy Fazbear's nose from the cutesy poster from the left side of the office, it will emit a honk sound. 
There's a 1 in 10,000 chance when the maintenance panel is used for Mr. Cupcake from the first game to appear on the desk on the right side of the office. It does nothing else and will disappear the next time the maintenance panel is used. There's a 1 in 10,000 chance when the maintenance panel is used for Paper Freddy from the second game to appear on the right side of the office. It does nothing else and will disappear next time the maintenance panel is used. Similarly, there's an identical chance for Paper Bonnie from the second game to appear on the left side of the office when the monitor is used. Just like Paper Freddy, it does nothing else. There's a 1 in 10,000 chance when the monitor is used for Shadow Freddy from the second game to appear on the left side of the office. Curiously, he has no glowing eyes and his teeth are a grimy grey colour. He does nothing else and will disappear for the next time the monitor is used. The Freddy Files refers to this version of Shadow Freddy as Crumpled Freddy Suit. There is a 1 in 100 chance when the monitor is brought up for a drawing of Mr. Cupcake to appear in Camp 4 in place of the drawing of Toy Bonnie. It will return to the latter when the monitor is put down. On even rarer occasions, there is a 1 in 10,000 chance when the monitor is brought up for the aforementioned Toy Bonnie drawing to be replaced with a variation of the Mr. Cupcake drawing with gold coloured frosting instead. Like the regular variants, it will turn back into the Toy Bonnie drawing when the monitor is put down. Both of these can only occur if Springtrap is not occupying this room. There's a 1 in 10,000 chance when the monitor is brought up for the Cutie Freddy Fazbear posters in Cam 2 and Cam 10 to be replaced with posters of Spring Bonnie in the same art style. These can only appear if Spring Drop is not occupying the rooms they are contained in and will disappear when the monitor is put down. There's a 1 in 1,000 chance each for the player to experience one of the three images of Spring Drop. Much like the eyeless screens from the first and second game, upon closer inspection, William Afton's decaying body can be seen inside of the suit. The third screen reveals most of the corpse's head within. The sound that plays during this is a soundbite of William killing the player in the end of night minigames. The first variant rarely appears after the warning screen. The second variant rarely appears after the game over screen. The third variant rarely appears when the player starts a night. If the camera map of Fazbear's Fright is flipped vertically, it has a similar appearance to Scott Cawthon's online avatar. While this could be purely coincidental, it is still worth noting. Brightening the Nightmare It Burns newspaper reveals part of Springtrap's head rotated behind the Freddy figurine. Surrounding the coming soon and It Burns newspaper are hidden messages from Scott Cawthon disclosing developments and trivia in regard to the first game. Kind of like the first two games with the newspapers at the start, but this one's a lot more interesting so feel free to pause and read them all, there's a lot to read. Another thing that I think is worth noting while you guys read this is the secret minigames that you can play throughout the game. There are five, six, I don't know, <laughs> there's a certain amount of minigames that you can play and upon completing them and doing the right steps you can get the good ending instead of a bad ending. I don't know why this isn't mentioned, the thing that I'm reading it from, but yeah they are, they are secret minigames throughout the game. July 23rd 2015, Final Freddy's 4 was released. Just like the first, second and third game, clicking on the Freddy Fazbear plushie's nose will emit a honk sound. <laughs> There is a 1 in 100 chance when viewing the bedroom that one of three items will appear on the bedside table located to the left of the bed. A vase of flowers, a pill bottle, or an IV drip. If the player stares at the bed for 15 seconds and refuses to turn around, Nightmare Foxy will attack the player, resulting in an instant game over. This occurs in any night, even in levels where Nightmare Foxy is normally not active, such as Night 1, Night 5. Nightmare Threadbare section of Night 6, Nightmares slash Night Marion section of Night 7 and Night 8, or the All Nightmare slash Night Marion challenge. There's a 1 in 40 chance, 1 in 200 chance on Night 2 and onwards, the reversed and low pitched version of Phone Guy's Night 1 phone call from the first game to be heard in as background ambience. It simply plays in short fragments and will play at either 30% or 60% volume before being muted. At some points during the night segments, there is a 1 in 30 chance for one of three sounds to be heard in the background. These include demonic laughter, similar but not identical to Nightmare Fredbear slash Nightmare, a demonic breath and a dog barking. The photographs seen around the bedroom left hole and the right hole are actually taken by Scott Cawthon. There's a picture of a mountain range Scott took when he was a truck driver at West Texas. Another picture of a snowman that Scott and his older sons built. And finally a picture of his pet mockingbird that he had that he and his family helped nurse back to health. If the player walks back from the dining area where Fredbear and Spring Bonnie's shadow are to the front lobby of Fredbear's family diner, the backstage door will be open and William Afton will be seen helping an employee into a Spring Bonnie suit. The door is then quickly closed. This can only occur in the post 
Night 2 game. Standing in front of the television and pressing the enter key while in front of the television of the crying child's house will display scenes from the Fredbear and Friends show. This can only occur in the post Night 3 minigame. On October 7th, 2016, Finest Freddy's sister location was released. There are only two hidden animatronics, both will later appear in the custom night mode that can be identified. Lolbit has a small chance to replace Ennard's mask in the primary control module. Yendo appears occasionally in the Funtime Auditorium to replace Funtime Foxy. In the primary control module, Mini Arena has a smaller chance to appear at the left side of the room. Occasionally, during the Immortal and the Restless segment, Mini Arena may appear at the far left within the living room. Furthermore, there's a rare chance to see Mini Arena popping up from the bowl of popcorn. Bidi Bab can occasionally appear behind the window from the elevator and circus control. At home, while watching the Immortal on the Restless, Biddy Bab can rarely appear from the darkness at the right side. When entering an area or booting the game, a blueprint of one of the four main animatronics will randomly appear on the screen for a minute or two. In the Ballora Gallery location, if the player holds 0 and 1 key for 1 minute and 23 seconds, the blue screen will display. Pressing 1 will trigger strings of random encounters. On December 4th, 2017, Finance Freddy's 6 was released, or Finance Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more secrets to this game, but the only things I could find online about any secrets are the following. Rare animated scenes from the back alley occur after the game over, completing the shift or booting up the game. The minigame's hidden laws. Out of all the different minigames available to playtest, the Fruity Maze, Midnight Motorist, and Secret Security minigames contain hidden law that alludes to several different events in the franchise. For some reason, only Fruity Maze has a description on on the law, which reads, In Fruity Maze, after the player successfully completes any round by collecting all of the fruits, a young girl named Susie appears in the background of the ending screen. If the player attempts the minigame a second time, all of the orange fruits will be replaced by a dead dog, and Susie begins to frown and tear up at the ending screen. If the player attempts the minigame a third time, lightning power-ups are no longer available. The dead dogs are now mutilated. The other fruits are replaced with coffins and flowers. The music becomes slower and disordered. Many spring barney figures immune to the player randomly appear. The player girl now leaves a trail of blood and the time always runs out. At the ending screen, William often appears behind the morning Susie and convinces her to follow him. In blue text, he's not really dead. In the other text, he is over here. In blue text, follow me. It is implied that Susie is one of the victims of the missing children instance who would later go on to possess Chica and that this is how often they kidnap Susie. There's the Midnight Motorist game. There's no description for this, but I think everyone knows this one. Play as William often appears and you there's a bar and you go to the FNAF 4 house and it's an interesting fun secret minigame and the security popular one is when you get to see the death of charlotte emily in the pizzeria simulator minigame add the pizza with the following toppings onions mushrooms olives and peppers if doing so correctly 200 dollars instead of 100 will be achieved when starting the game during survival mode inside the office there's a healthy toy placed on top of the terminal <coughs> Click on the toy's nose to emit a honk sound. A drawing of Doofus from Scott's earliest game, Doofus the Dinosaur, can be found in the office, as seen when turning to the left. When successfully scaring the children, the Fruit Punch Clown has a small chance to utter a rare quote, tell anyone about this and I cut your throat. And that's all I could find about Pizzeria Simulator. If there's any more secrets, then let us know in the comments below. I'd definitely be interested to know more secrets about the game. On June 27th, 2018, Ultimate Custom Night was released. Once again, I feel like there's a lot more secrets to this game than this website is stating. This rare screen takes the form of a mysterious image of a partially obscured face appearing to be that of a grinning child. It is referred in game as the one you should not have killed, mentioned by Nightmare Freddy, with a Chica, Mangle and Jacko Chica. This hallucination can occasionally appear after the game over screen. When pulling up the camera monitor or outside of one of the doors or vents within the office, it bears a striking similarity to some of the rare death images from previous games. Though it is unique in that, it can also be seen occasionally through in-game mechanics, such as the monitor and doors. It is commonly theorised that this is one of the missing children, specifically Cassidy. Three animated figurines of enemies from FNAF World will sometimes appear on the desk in the office. These characters include Tangle, White Rabbit, and a Bounce Pot. By setting Golden Freddy to one and using a death coin on them, you will be jump scared by Fredbear. A low robotic ambience was heard during Old Man Consequences secret minigame ending. If the ambience were to be sped up, the sound of a person, presumably William Afton, is heard screaming inaudibly of suffering or despair. It sounds like whoever is screaming is screaming help me, Mike and Henry, or crying out for them to help, but this is unclear. Furthermore, the ambience has a 1 in 10,000 chance to be heard in the main menu screen instead of Drophobia, however you say that, upon opening the game. Which I'm sure is a soundtrack title. <laughs> Thank you.
And that was all I could find about Ultimate Custom Night as well, once again, I'm sure there's more secrets in the game. So I'm not gonna talk about Finest Freddy's Help Wanted, FNAF Help Wanted 2, the AR game, the, every other game past this. The main reason being because these games contain so, so many secrets. There's collectibles, there's secret tapes, there's, there's just a loads of hidden stuff, and these games are not made by Scott Cawthon himself. I'm only including the main seven games made by Scott Cawthon, because I think they're the most interesting. But if you would like to see a video on Security Breach or and FNAF Help Wanted and all those games, Games, then you can let me know. I know the thumbnail includes Help Wanted 2, which I'll mention them, I guess. The thing that's in the thumbnail is the secret plushies that can be found in Help Wanted 2. But yeah, if you would like to see me make a video on this, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed them, please leave a like and subscribe and let me know what Finance Freddy's history video you like next or what Finance Freddy's hit video you just like in general.